<laughs> For this video, I had no clue what to make. First, I wanted to make a sprinkler that followed you. But then I realised I didn't have all the parts I needed for it, so I turned to making an alarm clock that slaps you to wake you up. Then I got a bit bored of that, so I ended up destroying it. Then I thought, what should I make next? But then I thought, why not make a robot that's actually useful, one that practices social distancing to inspire me to do that too? Well, that's why I made this, the robot that practices social distancing by screaming. So first things first, gonna need some wood. I found this lying about. It's a good piece of wood, but it's got another piece of wood stuck on it and it's got some nasty stuff here. So I can just turn it over and use that side, but I still need to get rid of this. So here we go. So now I've got my piece of wood. So while trying to remove the, the, the dirt and that sort of stuff off it, I accidentally cut myself pretty, pretty badly. So, uh, so yeah, safety first. Uh, so now I'm gonna get another piece of wood and attach it to the middle, uh, maybe two, because uh, that's where the infrared motion sensor is gonna be put onto. So quick explanation, because I didn't actually explain it. Uh, the reason I want a motion sensor on there is because I want the robot to know when it's near people. And when it's near people, I want it to scream so that people know that it's invading the social distancing aspect of it. Uh, I'm then gonna have uh, some speakers, probably one here and one there. So what's gonna happen now is I've got my drill with me. I've got my two pieces of wood, and I'm just going to screw one piece of wood to the, to the piece of wood below. Easy. So this is the motion sensor that I'm going to use. It's called a PIR motion sensor, which means a passive infrared motion sensor. That means that it detects the levels of infrared radiation all around it, and when something moves in that, uh, it sends out a voltage so here's the motion sensor that I've got set up. Uh, as you can see, it's just turned off because it hasn't detected me move. But when I move, see, it turns on. Now I'm going to go a few meters back and see if it detects me to see how far it spreads. So right now I'm about two meters away from the LED. So I'm going to move a little bit and see if it detects it. See, I'm about two meters away and very quickly it detected that I moved and it turned on. That's really good. <laughs> Robot. We've got the PIR sensor here, uh, which is going to detect motion. Uh, we've got the Arduino here with an LED in it. Um, underneath, it's a complete death trap. So uh, maybe, uh, I <laughs> yeah, that's a death trap bar. I cut this. This into a smiley face. But when you come within six feet of it, suddenly that turns to an angry face. Bob passes butter. If you didn't know that, that's because you haven't watched my video where I made a robot that passes butter. You should go like, watch, comment, subscribe, the usual. But Bob also has wheels. I need wheels and I don't have any in the house apart from these. So Bob is gonna get amputated. The amputation was successful. That took forever. I had to find the right parts which I couldn't find for ages, right screws, right screw size, and then I found a right screw. But it turns out that the only self-locking nuts that I had were for a different, a different size. And then it works though. Doesn't it look amazing? So I figured out how to get our robot to, to make a noise. This, I'll put the speaker here so you can see. This happens. Plugging it in now. Works quite well gets really annoying after about three seconds. So I've gone around the house trying to find a place where I can be alone to scream as loud as humanly possible. And turns out there aren't many places when you live in a family of five. So I'm gonna go in the garage, which isn't completely soundproof, but which is probably my best bet. So here we go. 
So I've taken a few takes of my, me absolutely screaming. And turns out, I can hear the, the family next door. I can hear the kids playing next door. Which means they can hear me. They probably think someone's getting stabbed. Ah! That is, without a doubt, one of the most embarrassing things I've had to do. Right, so I've got it set up so that every time I move, the LEDs, oh, I'll move it over here. The LEDs on this side are gonna go boom, well, flash, and the speakers are gonna start screaming. I've more or less got it to work. So it fluctuates in sensitivity between about 1.8 well, meters and 2.3 meters. First, I converted the audio files from .ma4 to .wav so that I could use Audacity to cut the file size down so that it could only contain the screams. Then I went onto iTunes and with specific settings I converted the files to .mp3, saved them in a folder, used a program called Encode Audio to turn the files into number format, uploaded that to Arduino, wrote a ton of code so that the Arduino could actually play the music, and voila, we're done. So I've done a bit of the fancy code stuff, and now it has two screams to choose from. So what that means is that when I, when the motion sensor detects motion, it picks a random number between one and two, so 50% chance of getting one, 50% chance of getting two, and then depending on which number it picks, a, a scream is accessed and then screamed out. So the good news is, the little smile thing, it does turn. When the, when the motion sensor detects motion, it goes sad, and when there's no thing moving and it's just happy, it goes back to being happy. Problem is, the sad face is not... I can't really describe it, I'll show you. That's what it looks like normally. Look, happy face. It looks really good. It actually works. Then when it detects motion, watch this. Wow, what a sad face. <laughs> Look how bad that is. It can stretch so much more. So each wheel is moving in a random speed in a random direction. So sometimes it moves completely forwards, sometimes it turns that way. Yes, this one's actually the best I've seen it go, but normally it just messes around. Oh dear. Where's it going? So I'm just sitting here, waiting for it to somewhat come sit close to me. And look at it, it's, it's permanently sad. It's meant to be happy right now. Wait. <laughs> Where did it detect anyone in there? What's it doing? Okay, I think the, um, okay, that's, okay, no, okay. I was trying to get some footage of it just moving around, of, well, of it coming close to me and then screaming while I was doing something relaxing, like, I don't know, coding. Look at it. Oh, it's coming towards it. Oh, no, it's not, okay. Oh, look at it, it's doing a fruit. <laughs> it just went straight into the wall. Thank you for watching that video. I put a lot of effort into it and it turned out even better than I expected. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, drop a comment, let me know what I should make next uh, and I'll try and get around to it at some point. I've got a good idea of what I should make coming up next. So uh, subscribe to see what comes up soon. Uh, so yeah, uh, ha have fun, stay safe and stay indoors. Thank you. <laughs>